Hey, hey, besties! It's Becky here with Bestie Becky's Crafts, and I am here to show you how I made this memory dex card. If you remember in the last video, I showed you how to make the base of the memory dex card, and I've already done that. And it is on double sided paper, as you can see. So to make the other part, let's go ahead and zoom on out and I will show you how to do that. And I will show you first on a larger size so that if you wanted to use it for a card base, you could. Um, I'm not sure what they call it, um, but this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. And it'll make a finished five and a half by four and a quarter inch card if you want to do it that way. And it needs to be double sided. Or if you want it white and something on the front, just do, you know, as long as it coordinates, that's fine too. Now you need to figure out which side you want to be your finished side. And your finished side is what's going to be up. So on this one, it's the flowers. So if I wanted the flowers to be up or if I wanted the stripe side to be up. And I think I do, you know, yeah, I think I do want the flower side up. So I'll go ahead and do it that way. So you're going to do the flower side up. You're going to go ahead and leave it up while you do your folds. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fold your edges together. So this is the 11 and a half inch side, the long side, and fold those edges together just like so. I'm going to take my bone folder, get a nice crease, and actually I'm going to even fold it the other way. And crease it again just to get a nice crisp crease. So there, you can see it better. Maybe this side. Sure. All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and fold my eight and a half inch sides together. Folding it in half. So I'm just going to meet those edges. And fold it. And again, use my bone folder. I'm going to go ahead and open it again and fold it just to get a nice and crisp fold. All right, so here's the side that we want up. Remember, this is going to be the side that you're going to see the most. And here, the back side is this little strip right here that you're going to see. So on this, it happens to be green. So on the piece of paper I used for this, this was the front, and this was the back. So this was the front side that I had folded up. So we'll go over that in just a minute, too. But okay, so we folded from um, each side to each side. So it's folded in the center. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your scissors and you are going to cut on, this is my left side, from the left side just to the center point. And sometimes it's kind of hard to see your folded line, so I'm just going to flip it over because I can see it better on the back side. And I'm just going to cut right along that folded line as straight as I can, right to the center. So, there's my cut, okay? My cut to the center. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bottom corner. So, this is the top. This is the bottom. Take my bottom corner, and where it's folded in the center, kind of find my center point, and I'm going to, oops, don't tear it. This is kind of thick paper. And you're going to fold it up so that it meets 
that fold. Okay. It's okay that it tore. It'll be fine. It's just a tiny tear. All right, and go ahead and crease it. All right, now we've folded it out all our different ways. We've cut, we've folded the bottom corner up. Now we need to fold this top corner down. But we don't need to fold it down quite as far. We're only gonna fold it in mm, like one and three quarters, two inches, whatever we kind of feel like. And I feel like one and three quarters. So I'm just going to fold it down like so, as straight as I can. Just gonna eyeball it. Did you see that? My fold line is right there, so I just measured from the fold line over to, so it was one and three quarters, and just folded it down. And again, use my bone folder there. Alrighty. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it over the top, okay, and then I'm going to, check out my cheat notes here, I am going to fold this one backwards, okay, just catch that, so let's open it again. So I'm going to fold this one forwards and this one backwards. So you see where the front of my card is, is right there in those two places. Now I'm going to take this bottom fold and I'm just going to fold it up right against the edge. And it's not going to line up perfectly edge to edge. You'll see that there's a little gap there. That's fine. So did you catch that? So this one's folded up, it was backwards, folded it over, and then folded this side up. And now, I just fold it up this way, and I have my card. I have a pocket here, and I have a pocket here. And what I can do is then take a good old tape. And what I would also do is tape down these flaps just so they don't get in the way and they stay together. So do that. And I would glue down the oops this flap. Okay. So your card you're gonna put glue and I'm just gonna put tape glue, good old tape glue tape adhesive. I suppose it's the same thing, right? Here. Tape it. And of course it's going to be ornery, isn't it? It's not going to tear off nice and easy for me. Oh, come on. Don't make me look bad. Okay. So there's that. So you got your pocket here. Alright. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put tape along here. and you're trying to craft. Things just don't always go as they're supposed to. Alright, so there's that so that it won't pop up. And then we're going to put glue along this edge too for our card. Oops. I did not cut 
that very well at all. Okay. There you go. You could put a little piece of glue and stuff in there if you wanted to hold that down. I'm just going to go like that. some tape there and then you just have two pockets you can decorate and then you can put it on top of a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half is that what I said so that's if you want to make a card so I wanted to do the same thing but I wanted to do it on a smaller scale here, I'll take out all my little cards here I wanted to do it on a smaller scale so it would fit on a memory dex card and I would have little pockets that I could put things in and I even thought I could glue the top of it so there's it's just open on the sides so when you flipped your memory card stuff wouldn't fall off the top so that is an option so we are going to shrink this down in size so to make it fit on my memory dex card, which remember I cut to four by four inches, all right? This piece I cut to eight by five and a quarter inches. So it's eight inches this way and five and a quarter inches this way. Now, the reason that it's five and a quarter inches is because the center is two and five eighths. And two and five eighths is what will fit on my memory dex card. If you measure this way, four, it's about two and five eighths inches, and it gives me room for to store my card, and it fits right flush with the top, but yet leaves my tag out. All right. So, okay. So we do, we fold it the same way as we did the other one, okay? So whatever side we want up is what we have facing us, which I want the flower side up. So again, I'm going to fold to the 8 inch side. And the reason it's 8 inches this way is because half of that is 4. So whatever your paper measurements are is what will be, if you divide that in half, that's what size you, the end, your card will end up being. Does that, I hope that makes sense. So that's why the eight inches one way and the five and a quarter the other way. Okay, okay so I fold it in half that way and Fold it with my bone folder, and I'm going to fold it the other way in half. Do the same thing. All right. So we have it folded. There's our center lines, and now we need to cut. And remember, this is my left hand side. So I'm going to cut from my left hand side to the center line and it's easier to see on the back side just with the pattern on the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut it from the back side to the center. You can see there. Alright. So I've cut to the center like so. And then I'm going to take my bottom and where my little center line is, I'm going to fold this bottom up edge up to meet that center line. And remember if it tears a little bit, don't worry. You don't see it. And it, it works out fine because that other piece gets folded up. Alright. And go ahead and crease it. Alright. So there's our edge that we cut and then that we cut up. Now, I didn't really measure this um, over when I folded it. I just kind of 
eyeballed it to what I thought looked good. And I think it ended up to being about an inch. And I just try to do it as straight as I could. Let's see there. Like so. Give it a nice crease. Do the same thing. Okay. So, this is the top of my card. This is the bottom of my card. And we fold it in the center. I've cut it. I folded this one to the center and this one down just a ways. And I go ahead and I fold this one over the top. And then this one I fold underneath so it looks like so. Okay. And then I'm going to fold this bottom corner up over top of that triangle on the bottom. And remember, it's not going to cover the edge and fold up exactly. And that just has to do with the width of the paper. And I'm going to flip it over and get it a nice crease. And then it folds up. And there I have my little piece that goes on my memory next card. Like so. I just line it up with the top and I'll glue it on after I glue all my pieces together and round my corner. Since I rounded my corner over there, I need to round this corner. So I'll do that before I forget. Alright. And then kind of just kind of tape stuff down so that it doesn't doesn't fly up. So I'm going to tape that down, and oops, paper stuck, actually sticky stuck, and I'm going to go ahead and tape this down, like so, and I'm going to put some along here. Like so. And then I'm going to take this piece down. Alright. So, now I can tape the pieces on the top or I can leave it open like I did on this one and I definitely want to put a piece of tape along the bottom so where's my tape This will cooperate with me much better. Yes. So it's kind of, I don't know, I want to say it's kind of like a loaded envelope, but it's a little bit different because it's like a loaded envelope. Oh my goodness. It's like a loaded envelope on the side. There we go. And then I would use strong adhesive tape to attach it down. Like I said, you could put tape up at the top too. Alright. And then what I did was I cut out a flower out of paper and some leaves and put a pearl in the center. Put some green lace and some pearls along this edge right here so you could still see the green and you could still get into that pocket. I put some flat backed pearls at the top of the tag and then I have this tag punch that I picked up from Recollections 
and it punches out three different size tags. You can see that. And, but they're tiny tags, but that's kind of cool. So what I did was I punched out tags, different, different sizes from the different papers because I used the back sides, the front sides, and I just kind of glued some of the tags together and I tied Baker's twine at the top of some of them, happened to have colors that match, and I used pearls on some of them, and then they just slide right there in the pocket, like so. So there's some little tags to use. Let's see. I'll slide them in here. You can see. Just like so. And then just make sure that you put your information on the back of your card for your exchange. And that's it. So kind of a, a neat, cute little idea. And remember, you can make these any size that you want, just depending on the size that you cut your paper. And whatever size you cut this paper, uh, remember that when you divide that in half, that is what size your card will turn out to be. So if you use a little bit different size memory dex card, then you just need to make a few adjustments for that. Or do you like I do and just make samples out of white cardstock for fun. So that's it. It's a pretty easy craft. Once you make one, they go pretty smoothly and you kind of get on a roll. So I'm looking forward to making some more like this. And you could put other goodies in here, not just tags. You could put washi tape samples in there, um, bling samples in there, um, stickers. I, there's just all kinds of things that you could put in there to swap. So, I hope you enjoyed this craft, and I hope you give it a try. And not only can you make a card, remember, but you could also use this on memory decks cards or other cards. And I bet you could even make this down to the size to fit in a pocket letter. Hmm. That has my brain going and I might need to figure out how to do that because that would be fun too and they'd be great to put into loaded envelopes a loaded envelope in a loaded envelope extra storage more goodies alright ladies that's it I hope you enjoy today's video thanks for watching take care and I will see you next time hi mom hi Irina hi Dara and everyone keep crafting. See you next time. Bye.